This place is surprisingly nice for an alligator cave. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bob, are you seriously drooling over Shovel Face after everything you just went through to get Jessica back? She's not even dirty dancing. She's just dry heaving up against a pole. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Comics Bob, where today I'm really hoping our strange little alien slug dog friend is gonna be able to help us get some closure. Like, some of you guys might remember the last time, Jessica, the sexy cave woman, and Shovel Face, the missing link between man and beast, <laughs> decided to ditch Bob and have a little happy hot tub time together, which was a real slap in the face. Nobody saw that coming. But fortunately, Jessica was recently cloned by aliens, and if they manage to inherit her standards in men, then we might still be in business. Here's the plan, Bob. We're gonna get in, we're gonna grab as many clones as we can get, and then we're gonna get out. Like, the goal is to make sure that you're the one who does the probing today, and not the one who ends up getting probed. Even though we know that this isn't a probe, right? We've already seen this. So long as we press the green button, then we should be okay. Yeah, it's been a while. It's not every day that I have to deal with a ceiling mounted shrinkum dinkum ray, but every time I take the 50-50 chance, I get rewarded, even though there's only one of them. Okay, I, I won't get greedy. One is more than enough. And we already know that the lever doesn't work, so we can try the butt saw, even though Bob, when it comes to taking a clone, is that technically theft or, or kidnapping? I'm just wondering what we should tell the intergalactic police when they catch your flabby man nips trying to escape from here. <laughs> yeah, we can cut her out of the tube and maybe out of those terrible alien clothes. They're, they're far too concealing. Bob, when I said grab a clone, I, I didn't mean by the crotch. Great. So we've got another heavily armed Mike Wazowski wannabe. Do we want to give him a balloon? Or do we want to slap him with the bugle that somebody licked all the dust off of? Yeah, let's go with that. that. Sounds hilarious. Come on, Bob. I'm sure you can bring a club to a gun fight. Okay, no, we got three strikes and you're out, Bob. You gotta be kidding me, man. He he's like a giant baseball muppet. So all you gotta do is hit him out of the park. Come to think of it, the last couple of times I had Bob use a balloon to get out of a situation, he ended up having a sexy inflatable version of the thing that was threatening him. I don't suppose you've got a Michelle Wazowski in your pocket, do you? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care who you are, that's hot. Oh, oh, there we go, good boy. Yeah, not gonna be using that to hand a J.O. anytime soon. <laughs> Try explaining to new Jess why you've got that thing. Well, I'll be damned, we actually did manage to get her out of the spacesuit just before going for a spacewalk. It makes complete sense. <laughs> that is a very big trap, which means there might be a very big space bear around here somewhere. Do we want to wear a dummy hat? Or do we want to eat a lemon? Uh, let's go with the lemon. Maybe we'll throw a lemon into the trap. That'd be a pretty smart move. You set it off. Oh, oh, okay, great. Well, now you look like an idiot and you can't even see that. How is a gimmicky hat gonna take off with all Bob's weight? Nonetheless, both of your Wait, unless you each have one. I forgot you both have magic buttholes. <laughs> and of course, don't fly the whole way to your destination. You just get over the trap and then you can hold hands. Okay, yeah, I guess that's reason enough. The last time we saw this thing, Jessica clipped its balls off. They seem to have grown back. Good for you, sir. But now maybe it's Bob's time to get a little chopping in. Even though I don't know if Bob is really the type for physical confrontation. You know, unless it's at a buffet. Bob, of the two present parties, it wasn't the 10 foot tall plant monster that I was hoping you'd get wet today. But I guess if we don't have any other choice, then maybe we can all be friends? Or maybe water is like poison on this planet? I don't know what this atmosphere is like. 
It could shrivel up and kill those gross DSLs or grow you a terrifying pair of plant legs and it's gone. Okay then. You got lucky there, Bob. You're honestly very lucky he ran off because he could have easily kicked your round ass. Wait a second. Didn't you fly a UFO here? What's the DeLorean doing in pieces? Like, time travel just screws with everything. And please don't shoot the slug dog. Just uh, give it candy. We can trade. One football sized piece of hard candy for one DeLorean wheel. And then we should be able to drive off into the sunset, sunrise. I don't know how days work on this planet. Your chariot awaits, milady, to wherever we're going. Yeah, Bob, what's the plan? I don't know if we should go back to Earth or not. Jessica is gonna have a whole lot of questions about Jessica, and like, I don't wanna see that fight. Uh, unless it plays out in a jello pool. Are jello pools a, a thing, Bob? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were being pulled over by some kind of heavily armed Death Star. <laughs> should we. Give it a balloon? No, I refuse to believe that you have a sexy inflatable version of a Death Star in your pocket. <laughs> so let's hit it with toothpaste? Or, or make it brush its teeth? And then it'll be sad that it realizes it doesn't have a mouth. Or yet, hit it with toothpaste. We can partially blind it. Partially is not good enough. Something tells me that is not gonna buff out. All right, oh, I guess we're gonna see what's in his pockets. I'm just gonna throw it out there, Bob. You're supposed to be a caveman, not some kind of perverted clown. Oh, oh, it's just a balloon. Even though it does kind of look like it. Oh, I see. Just gonna make him load off. Is that how space works? I'm pretty sure it isn't. Oh crap, we got bigger problems to deal with. Should we? Piss on her or blow her up? <laughs> Just a common question that we all have to ask one another every now and then. Let's piss on her. I, I feel like that. Oh, you could do it. Yeah, since you're a slug dog that urinates marmalade. That seemed to short circuit that ship real quick. I'm sorry, if a little dog pee on your windshield short circuits your spaceship, then you weren't gonna make it. Oh my god, it just struck me. No, Bob, we've got bigger problems than getting mugged by a saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> if this is an exact clone of Jessica, then does that mean she's also gonna leave you for Shovel Face? Do we need to keep her away from Shovel Face? These are the things that I need to know. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your problem again? Did you want my wallet? Does it look like I have a wallet? <laughs> I don't even have pockets. I keep everything in my arse. Uh, we could give him the old look over there, or we could just surrender. Let's fool him. You know, he's a cat. He can't be that smart. Or, oh, uh, oh, okay. For a second there, I thought Bob was going to lose a hand, but we Looney tunes him. Get wrecked, nerds. Ooh, that's a trap if I've ever seen one. Right? Maybe? If it is, it's a... Very simple one. It might just be somebody trying to keep their lunch out of the hands of, well, muggers. <laughs> should we shoot it or should we have the dog eat it? I don't want to risk losing the dog if it is a trap. Let's just shoot it. We'll play things safe. We could freeze the limb on a limb. Oh, we didn't have it set to freeze. Why is that such a big deal? I don't understand. All we did was ruin someone else's lunch. There's also a good argument to be made that we shouldn't give the alien slug dog a taste for earth meat, because as soon as we do, he could go from eating random chops in a tree to eating your own limbs. <laughs> or maybe somebody else's. Oh, the, the dog booked it, and now we've got a bit of a problem and a decision to make. Ooh, we can shoot original Jessica? or we could shoot clone Jessica. I don't suppose this could all be one elaborate scheme to win her back. And we went to outer space, we got a clone of her, we brought her back, and then we shot her right in the face. Just to prove that original Jessica is the only one for us. Then again, I don't want to touch anything that's been anywhere near Shovel Face's mouth, so let's just shoot the original. 
Here we go. Oh! She was the clone, or she was a robot? Why would a robot love Shovel Face? I'm so confused right now. Wait, 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 that means this is the original Jessica. We, we rescued her and knew that the entire time. <laughs> That's the story, we're sticking to it. And to prove our love, we should either give her a flower or tug on what is quite obviously a snake tail. Probably a dick biting snake, they usually are, right? Yeah, of course, and then you're just gonna, oh no, bit us on the brain. I mean, different head, same result. So we'll get her a flower and we'll tell her that we love her, but at the same time, it would have been cool if we had just a little bit more time with the Bangbot version of her. <laughs> Not quite a clone, but she could have definitely done some real fun things. Even though technically she's still out there. She's just kind of running around looking like the Terminator, I guess. Not nearly as fun without all the fleshy bits. What is it with plants and causing me trouble today? What do you want? Why are you out here in the middle of a forest? Shouldn't you be in a desert? We can give him a pill to have him mellow out, or we can just cut him in half. Can we just get rid of this idiot once and for all? I played nice the last time. Now you're gonna get cut down to size? Wait, wh game over? Oh, oh, hold on a second, it, it said that the chainsaw was the right answer, there was a little check mark over it. I mean, it clearly wasn't because the thing sprouted legs again and running shoes and then chased us down, but still, I guess if a cactus has a mouth, then you can pressure it into taking prescription drugs that don't belong to it. These are the things that I did not expect to say this morning. You see, that's the effect that I thought that the water would have on the alien plants, but oh well. We're just gonna bring her home and let her go in alone? What? How are we not banging right now? Even Mario got a kiss on the nose and he's been getting blue balled for decades. Oh, she's getting ready for a fancy night out. Hopefully with Bob. Uh, no, I don't want to change her hair. I, I like her look. Even though she could change into something a little bit more modern. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So she can put on something completely atrocious, or if I watch an ad, then she can look like a cheerleader. I can't believe I'm gonna turn on ads for this. What do you guys think? Was it worth me sitting through 30 seconds of TikTok? Probably. I mean, I'm really confused what the event is tonight. Like, what are you guys going to be doing? Other than hopefully each other. Or nothing. Because apparently there are no more levels. And I need to wait until next week. Come on. I'm not going to be able to publish this video for a full week. Are you kidding me? Turns out they were just kidding, because it was actually three weeks, as you can probably tell. Like, I know better. Why would I ever believe anything any mobile game ever says? For you guys, it's only been a couple of seconds. But like, for me, I I'm trying to vaguely remember something uh, about a space clone that wasn't a clone? And a uh, robot that was banging a gargoyle? Does that sound familiar, Bob? I mean, clearly he doesn't mind the wait. He spent the last couple of weeks planning his entry into that pink loincloth. So if we're gonna get to our disco date, then our options are either a twig hanging from a branch or an apple in a ditch. <laughs> These both seem like really obvious traps, right? Like the kind of trap that would work on someone like Bob. <laughs> but I think we've got Jessica calling the shots and she definitely knows that that wood can't support Bob's weight. When I say that woods, I mean the entire tree. So let's just send him down after the food. I mean, yeah, it's a little stereotypical. I'm sure there's a fat joke here, Bob. You're kind of used to handling food and having people walk all over you. <laughs> yeah, your food is always the answer for the guy who's shaped like a pear. There, I, I said it. Oh, I see. Yeah, you keep swooning her and she's going to look a little something like that, Bob. <laughs> So do we want to turn the valve, not sure what valve they're talking about, or shove a carrot in it? I mean, I said that food was always the answer, so yeah, just shove a carrot in it. You know, she seems plenty wet, I'm sure you're big enough or not. <laughs>
<laughs> like, I really do want to understand the struggles of my ancestors, but at the same time, I, I don't think vegetable concussions were one of them. Well, I guess we are going to find the answer to my question of what valve are you talking about? Oh, she's just got a, a whole faucet up her butt with the valve. <laughs> well, this is pretty easy to turn a girl on if all you have to do is twist her knobs. <laughs> oh, there's the disco club. It's an alligator guarded cave. Are you guys sure you want to go in here? <laughs> Should we bare knuckle box this guy or, or maybe go for a bit more of a traditional bounce? <laughs> I don't want to give him the opportunity to eat anybody, so let's go all out. See if you can really give him a, a strong left jab. Oh, he, he wants to take our weapons. And of course she's armed because reasons you never know if you're gonna get attacked by an alligator this place is surprisingly nice for an alligator cave okay i take it back <laughs> wait 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 bob are you seriously drooling over shovel face after everything you just went through to get jessica back she's not even dirty dancing she's just dry heaving up against a pole what are you going to do about this, Jessica? Do you want to give her a, a quick left jab like I told you to do with the bouncer? Or do you want to use a mouse? Let's just punch her. I, I feel like punching him? Sure, punch anybody. That works for me. Bob had it coming. As soon as he wakes up, he'll appreciate the fact that you've moved on. Why is this saber-toothed tiger constantly dressing up like this? Do we want to give him a slap or dance with him? I really don't want Jessica to move on and cheat with somebody outside of the species. So how about we just give him a smack? Everybody can have some. There you go. The bouncer is fed up with that. Okay. Probably why he took our brass knuckles to begin with. Maybe I'm just overreacting here. You know, it's just a dance. It doesn't mean anything, right? As much as I make fun of Bob, I am rooting for him. You know, because I'm Bob, you're Bob, we're all Bob. And we all want our Jessica. You know, we want her to not be elbow deep in a mammoth's butthole. So maybe don't touch its butt. I mean, I'm pretty sure he works here, so that would be inappropriate. How about we just Buzz for service. That seem uh, appropriate. Hi, is one martini, please? Thank you. <laughs> now, please tell me Bob wakes up. How many concussions can one guy have? Or better yet, how many drinks can one girl have? <laughs> it turns out Bob isn't the only one who's going to have to wake up and find their way out of here. That's not what I would have expected from the DJ, but... <laughs> Do we want to work the liquor out of our system using greasy foods or dancing? Well, judging by the 13 foot tall naked concrete man in front of me, I'm going to assume that we want to go with music. Here, can you play this possibly? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll burn it all off. We're nice and sobered up and heading to the private room. Oh, Bob. Actually, I don't think we can blame him for this, right? Because he's out cold. I was gonna say passed out, but no, that was Jessica. He was knocked out. So I don't think I want to pull down the blinds and give them some privacy. I also don't want to give them a complimentary bottle of wine, though. Oh, never mind. There's something hanging over Shovel Face's head. Yeah, I'm gonna go back on my initial decision. Let's do that. Maybe we can crush her to death and then we'll get out of here or crush all three of us to death. Why would they have that there? I'm not claiming to be some kind of nightclub biologist, but I really feel like it doesn't make any sense to have a load-bearing rope in here. It's just asking for trouble. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give them a bottle of wine or... I was gonna say, you splash it on Bob's face to wake him up, but I guess we could throw it to ricochet something onto Shovel Face's face. <laughs> sure, why not? Now, how are we gonna wake Bob up? That's an easy one. You gotta smack sense into him. If you smack the sense out of him, you gotta smack more sense into him. It's just 
simple caveman brain math. There we go. Hi, Bob. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. Did he just steal a hat? But he didn't come here wearing that. What an asshole. He absolutely did just steal something from Kochek on the way out. Who does that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Ooh, uh, hey there, alien slug dog. Um... We're gonna put a collar on you, because I think I remember him being friendly, right? We've had a collar on him in the past, maybe? Okay, yeah, I remember something about not feeding him after midnight. Is that gremlins? I just remember him barfing fire. Oh, great, the football-sized hornets are back again. Um, Bob, you got a couple of real bad decisions here. Uh, we could go with uh, a bee's nest for the wasps, not gonna help all that much. Or you can cover your face, but that's not gonna protect your fat man nipples. I, I guess we could go with this. Maybe we could have bees fight them. Is that possible? Or maybe these are prehistoric bees? Yeah, okay, we'll just give them a home because we're a generally good person. It's not like they would have murdered you in an instant. <laughs> yep, that's a dick-shaped rock, all right. Oh, uh, hmm. Every time you've ever thrown something or used a weapon, it's backfired, and every time you've ever used a balloon, it's been shaped like an attractive version of the thing you're trying to distract. So let's use the sexy pterodactyl again. Have you got that? No, that's, wait, what? That was just a regular balloon, but it still fell in love with it. Am I missing something other than one alien slug dog? Great, it got abducted. Bob, we gotta get that thing back, okay? If we introduce it into ancient worlds, then I can guarantee the future is gonna be messed up. By the way, I've been meaning to say that hat looks absolutely stupid on you. It, it, it kind of resembles dog vomit. Oh, speaking of dog, you think it's in this bush? There's no way, right? If we cut into this bush, something is gonna attack us, so let's pepper it? Wait, what? I gotta try this option just to see what it means. Oh, okay, yeah, he's got a shaker just in case he ever needs to sniff some and sneeze away some leaves. It's just a woodpecker. Um, maybe just keep walking. Why are we dealing with this? So you got a 50-50 chance of caving your head in with a log. <laughs> just walk past it or pull the ropes without you standing underneath it. That the hat's on so tight that his brain can't get any oxygen. <laughs> uh, let's go with... I mean, red means dead, but blue means bruises. Let's go with red. I'm gonna assume because it's closest to you that we're good? Sure, why not? Makes complete and total sense. That was all skill. Huh. Found another time-space butthole, but why? Oh, maybe we can blow your whistle and the dog will come out through it? The pterodactyl chucked him in there, possibly? Yeah, that's not your dog. Wait, what? Oh, oh, not tentacles. Well, that was the right answer, but I'm pretty sure we lost him and kept the collar. So was that one from the past? And if that's the case, which past are we going to where you're about to get penetrated? All right, you know, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Comics Bob, guys. And I gotta say, I know I've played this game a lot more than I would have expected to, because it is overly simple, but I really appreciate the fact that there's some effort put behind the animation. And, like, the commentary ends up being really fun, so it might not be for everyone, because I know the videos do well sometimes and not so well other times, but, I mean, if you're hearing me right now, then clearly you enjoy this one, so you'll keep leaving support. Leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know that you want more, and then maybe I'll return to save Bob's hole soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.